I'm Jordan Sturgeon and today we're going to be talking about vision problems for teachers in the classroom. So what are vision problems? Vision problems means that a person's eyesight doesn't have visual acuity. This means they can't really see objects as clearly as a person with normal eyesight could. So a form of vision problems is color blindness. This is where people may have trouble to see distinguishing certain colors. So for example, let's pretend that you're teaching a lesson about balancing nutrition and incorporating vegetables in your diet, and you show this picture to your students. You ask them to identify all of the red vegetables in the picture. Well, this would be hard to do for any student because the picture is grainy, but we're gonna pretend that it isn't. So for a colorblind student in your class, do you think that this student would be able to do this if this is what they're seeing? Probably not. So another form of vision problems would definitely be the nearsighted and farsighted. That's probably going to be the most common. So let's do another example. Pretend that you're an art teacher taking your class on a nature walk to paint nature scenes. You stop at this beautiful waterfall and ask your students to paint the waterfall and the scenes around it with as much detail as possible. However, this is what your nearsighted students are seeing. Very focused on the rock. The detail would definitely be all on the rock. And this is what your farsighted students would be seeing. The detail would be exclusively to the background and the waterfall but not much about the rock or the scene around it. Now for students with vision problems, the domains of help that are most affected would be intellectual and physical. For intellectual, if students are having difficulty seeing, it may be harder to grasp onto visual concepts and retain information such as reading, writing, spelling, and math. And for physical, in this case, the student's eye health and basic functioning is involved. Therefore, it's a physical domain. So the best thing a teacher can do to help these students out is label, label, label. Making sure that colored objects are labeled in enlarged and distinctive font helps both colorblind students and those who can't really see smaller print. Another really, really good thing for teachers to do is to incorporate auditory learning. So incorporating auditory learning strategies as much as possible is extremely helpful for those students who have difficulty seeing. Obviously, those students aren't going to be the best visual learners, so auditory learning is probably going to be the best bet for that kind of thing. So this can be things like read alouds, um, podcasts, having the kids make their own podcasts, and even doing Q&A sessions where the information is just being spoken and not written out. And lastly, the best tip for teachers is going 3D over 2D all the way. Try to use real objects for 3D representations as much as possible. For example, instead of showing a picture of a plant on the screen, enlarge it in real life and bring in an actual plant. Bring in the plant and let students interact with it and let, it look, let them look at it at all angles. By doing this, you're allowing students to get better looks at it by getting up close, touching it, interacting with it, because honestly, it's very hard for students with vision problems to look at it on a screen where it's just 2D. We can't really grasp the full concept of it. So that's why they say go 3D over 2D. These were tips for vision problems in the classroom.